Hey guys, welcome to the channel. In one of our previous videos, we discussed the different types of reciprocating air compressors. In this video, we're going to discuss another type of compressors called the rotary compressor. Today, we'll be discussing what rotary compressors are, its type, and their working with advantages and disadvantages. Rotary compressors are a type of positive displacement compressors. Instead of a reciprocating piston, they use a rotating element to compress the air. Rotary air compressors provide continuous output and they are used for high pressure applications. Rotary compressors are preferred over reciprocating compressors because they do not require heavy foundation and they are lightweight and produce less vibrations. Rotary air compressors can be further classified into four types. They are lobe type, screw type, vane type and the scroll type. Let's start with the first one, the lobe type compressor. Lobe type compressor is the simplest type of rotary compressor and it has no complicated rotating part. The lobe compressor consists of two rotors on two parallel shafts placed inside a housing. The rotors are driven by the shafts or timing gears. These rotors have two or three lobes on them and they mesh with each other. The rotation of the lobes sucks the air in and the air travels through the space over the lobes because of the little clearance between them. As a result, the air gets compressed and leaves the compressor at the other end. Lobe type compressors produce high volume of compressed air and they require less maintenance. But the pressure of the compressed air is limited and it is noisy. The next type is the screw type compressor. This is the most widely used rotary air compressor. A screw type compressor consists of two rotating asymmetrical helical screws. The screws are driven by the gears and they also have a little clearance between them. It works similar to the lobe type compressor. The air gets sucked in at one end and trapped as pockets. The trapped air travels along the length of the screw, gets squeezed and leaves at the other end. This type of compressor produces less noise, encounters less wear and is highly efficient. But the design of the screws is quite complex and they're also quite expensive. Then we have the vane type of compressor. Vane type compressors consist of a rotor placed eccentrically inside a cylindrical housing. The rotor is provided with radial slots in which the sliding vanes are placed and so the plates rotate with the rotor. The eccentric position of the rotor allows the plates to converge and diverge as it moves over it. The convergence and the return movement of the plates is ensured by means of springs. Let's see how this compressor works. The air enters at the place where the area is more and moves along with the plates. As the plates converge, the surface area decreases which results in the compression of the air. The compressed air leaves at the other side. Wayne type compressors compress air to a higher pressure, but it requires more maintenance as the number of rotating elements is more. The last type of compressor is the scroll type compressor. A scroll type consists of two spiral members placed inside a housing. Of these two members, one is held stationary and the other member rotates inside the stationary member. The air enters through the opening between the two spirals, gets compressed due to their rotation and leaves at the center. The scroll type compressor is used for small and limited applications. This type of compressor is less noisy and the setup is quite compact. But the output of a scroll type compressor is less when compared to other types and the temperature of the compressed air is also pretty high because of the continuous reduction of volume that takes place. So that's it for the video guys. With this, we have seen the different types of rotary compressors. Stay tuned for more interesting videos like this. Until the next time, bye.